Today at Blade HQ, we are looking at my knife collection. One of the things about my knife collection, guys, is I give knives away. The thing you gotta understand is when you work in the knife industry, things come to you, whether they're given or... Or whether you steal them. Or you steal them. <laughs> like a pirate. Previously on Knife Banter. Oh, our friend Thomas sent us an email. He says, the Knife Banter videos are always interesting and fun. I can tell that Zach likes knives, but the guy on the left, the viewer's left, that's me. Yeah, that's you. Does not. His dislike of knives is just too much. Perhaps you could find another guy who appreciates knives to fill the spot. Three days later. Hi, this is Tom Brown, the guy who doesn't think you like knives. The reason I say that is the way you look at the string of knives out before you when you start to review looks like a frown. I'd really like to see a, a video of what knives you actually have. It would be interesting, you know, because I think it would be only a couple and they would be thin little things that you can carry in your pockets and nobody can notice. <laughs> Up guys, today at Blade HQ we are looking at my knife collection. Let's get excited! This will be fun. It's gonna be fun. So here's how it'll work guys. We're gonna look at the knives I've bought, the knives I've been given, and the knives I stole. <laughs> it's a pretty big pile. <laughs> it is. That was such a rush! <laughs> and at the end of this thing we're gonna have a giveaway. So we'll dive into it. Here's where we're gonna start. Right here is with a viewer. Oh, look at that. Prediction. Do you okay. want to read the viewer prediction? Let's read the viewer prediction. I didn't know about the secret hiding in the box. Oh yeah, Matthew has loaded it up for us. <laughs> All right. This is from Michael TV 44 uh, Yes, on Ben's collection, so when we asked yep. if the people wanted to see this, my predictions are they're all going to have deep carry pocket clips, recessed screws, and all of them are at least as long as his finger. Also, they will be cheap because he's a cheap <laughs> sucker. He might be right. I don't know, let's find out. <laughs> let's do it. All right. So uh, let's start with the knives I've bought. And uh, there's other like random junk in my toolbox here. I'm just gonna move that aside. Uh, so random junk, a little Burnley towel. Let's start with the first knife I bought while at Blade HQ. Spyderco Delica. Yeah, Delica. In Ben Blue. In Ben Blue. Yep. This was the very first knife. In fact, this was the knife, I'd worked here probably like three to four months. This was just a college job. And I was like, all right, it's time. And I, uh, I bought a knife, and I love the Ben Blue. I love the, uh, the full flat grind on it. And it's been a great knife. I still carry it from time to time. I don't love that it's not deep carry. Right. I need to get a lynch clip, haven't done it. But I also don't love the back lock. I think since discovering the axis lock, I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe not. But at the time, college kid, yeah. first real big boy knife. Yeah, Pretty this sweet. is the one. Pretty sweet. Yeah. The next one I bought, let's, let's go in order here. Uh, next one I bought was probably the Griptilian. Um, I discovered the Axis Lock, carried this one for probably two years-ish, and uh, I really like that one. It's been good. That's and solid choice. You'll notice there's a theme There's here. something about the sizes here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't what? know if anybody at home is super, super surprised though right now, Ben. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. And then I'm like, I'm like, I need a fixed blade. And so I sat there and, and debated between the SE4 and the Topps Bob. I landed on the SE4. Okay. And uh, What's, this, what swayed you either either way? Uh, just a little bit of sizing. Okay. Um, Topps Bob has a little bit more in the handle, mm -hmm. and I just went for this guy instead. Uh, I also like SE's warranty. Um, I know that Topps has a great warranty as well, but I at the time I was like, dang, I like their warranty, I like their style. Cool. So I ended up buying that guy. And then... What else have I purchased? So when I left Blade HQ and went to CRKT, I needed to make a knife purchase. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see so this. Th let's this see is this. called the uh, Leon Ma Design Number no. Five. It's discontinued now with good reason. It's a slip joint. Actually, I think you can still buy it in the UK. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's discontinued in the American market. I like the deep carry clip G10, and uh, at the time I'm like, let's try a slip joint. I took this backpacking and I hated it so bad. <laughs> I actually bought another knife after this one before I started working at CRKT. Nice. Um, and I actually gave that one away. So one of the things about my knife collection, guys, is I give knives away. Um, I don't collect, I don't, I'm not a true collector. 
Like, I don't buy knives just to have them. Yeah. I let people come to my house, and if they're like, hey, that's cool, I'm like, take it with you. Yeah. So knives I mean, that I've purchased, I've purchased more for other people than for myself. I think even a true collector, though, there is a lot of rotation in that sure. kind of, like, you know, pristine white yeah. glove collection. Yeah. So yours is just a more of a working collection. It's a working collection. <laughs> so that one was... I keep this one out of just, like, don't buy bad knives. Is this, <laughs> I'm glad they don't make it anymore. Is this is this your first deep carry pocket clip? It was. Yeah. Okay. And is yeah. this the one, at the minimum, did this make you fall in love with that pocket clip or not quite? Mm, not quite. In fact, I complained about this before, but that screw catches on your pocket mm. really yeah. bad. Yeah. Uh, this just had some, some pretty fatal flaws for me. It's never <laughs> been in the rotation after that. <laughs> and then the last two that I purchased recently, uh, just a squid. Uh, this one I made for me and my brothers. We we uh, stuck a little thing on there. Smooth seas never made skilled sailors. So a little bit of indentation on there. I love the squid. In fact, I carried the squid. The squid came out right when I moved to CRKT. And I carried this one more than any other knife at CRKT. Right on. So I like that one. And then the last one I've purchased is the Benchmade sequel. This one's out of print. So yeah. discontinued. It was a show knife, but I love it. And I haven't found anything to replace it. So every Friday at Blade HQ, we have a meeting. <laughs> and at that meeting, we all show what's in our pocket. And uh, there's almost no reason for Ben to ever show us what's in his pocket because I just carry the sequel. this. <laughs> it's, it's got all the, it's almost like the Griptilian yeah. and the Delica. Kind of had a baby. Had a baby yep. with a deep carry pocket clip. Yep. It's a perfect Ben baby. It really is. <laughs> and until they make the mini bug out, I'm right. petitioning the guys at Benchmade to make a mini bug out. They right. say they're not going to, but I'm going to start a petition at Blade Show. <laughs> And maybe they'll do it. Uh, until I find something different, I am going to carry this guy. Perfect. I haven't been swayed. There you go. From anything else. So. I'm, the, I'm the same way with that with that uh, Benchmade HK I have, though, too. So I, I, understand. I understand. I love it. Love it. Okay, so those are the knives that I've purchased. Let's go into the knives that were given to me, which is actually a much larger category. And the thing you got to understand is when you work in the knife industry, things come to you, whether they're given or... Or whether you steal them. I'm a or you still <laughs> <laughs> like a pirate? <laughs> <The> five finger <laughs> discount. And uh, Matthew's thrown a comment in here. Oh whoa! Okay, go for it. Let's let's check this one out. You do that, and I'll, I'll unload some knives. Okay, this is from G Dotties one eight seven. Do you guys, Blade HQ employees, get your personal knife sharpened in house? If so, what method is used to sharpen? I've got an answer. You got an answer. What's your answer? Uh, my answer is I sharpen my own knives, um, so I do it. Typically on a work sharp or a sharp maker. Uh, I prefer the work sharp just because I just and Done. you guys are gonna complain because I'll grind the tips down. I got I got plenty. <laughs> I, mean, I got a couple I'll, tips I'll to go around. Right. Right. So you're right, yeah. Uh, Let me unload this puppy. Yeah, here. unload it. And then I actually I sharpen my own as well. I do most of mine on a stone. Um, every once in a while though, we actually just did a video with Steven from Much Store Front yeah. on how to use a sharp maker. And uh, every once in a while I'll pass it off to Steven if I'm in a pinch. And he uses a KME, I believe. Mm. Yeah. So. Steven does amazing work too. He does, he does amazing work. Yeah. These beautiful mirror finishes that are yeah. fantastic. All right, more hot mess for you guys because you asked. We asked you and then you said yes. Um, <laughs> so the knives I've been given category, most of the time when somebody gives me a knife, I do not give it away. I feel like that was a nice gesture yeah. and I keep them. So first knife I was ever given was this little Explorer knife. It's made in Japan. Um, it's a 440 stainless. And uh, this one came from a fishing trip with my grandpa. He's like, if you catch a fish, I'll buy you a knife. What? He takes me out to, there's this little store in Utah called Smith & Edwards. He takes me to Smith & Edwards. And uh, I walk up to the knife counter and I get the biggest, meanest knife they have in the case. And this was it. So this is a Smith & Edwards find then? It is. Is it dagger? Is it, is it so, sharp on both sides? Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it was new. Yeah. Um, and I think my brother ran it through a pull-through sharpener. It's It's been the rounds. It's yeah, funny. for sure. But uh, that was my fishing knife. Well, I love how you, so Smith & Edwards is actually a place that you can like buy tanks if you yeah. wanted to. So yeah. your knife came from a tank store. That's and cool. it's, it's kind of a Utah treasure. Yeah, really. yeah it is. <laughs> uh, so that was that one. And then my next one given to me was this little Victorinox. Um, this was given to me when I was 12 and I promptly sliced my finger with that guy. This is this is the slice, It's the slip joint camp. slice. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So long story there, but yeah, 12 year old scout camp. Slip finger. Yeah. Beautiful. 
what else is on the list here? Uh, kind of in alphabetical order. You pick one. No, I was going to say, what, what's the story of this? Ooh, this is a what fun is, one. What so, is this about? When I worked at CRKT, I did a ton of video for them. And so this is actually one of the coolest pieces in my collection for me. It was made by uh, Michael Rodriguez and his son. Oh, okay. Uh, we actually filmed a video. We'll roll in some footage with that. But I was filming this video, and then when they were done, uh, he gave me this knife. So Michael Rodriguez... Uh, Special Forces, Green Beret, super, super cool dude, and his son worked on this one, and when they were done, they gave it to me. They designed it as a throwing knife. Cool. So, kind of a fun piece. All right, go see how it throws. So the same week I was filming this project, uh, I also worked on this one. We'll roll some of this footage in as well. This is a Darren Soroyce custom uh, of TCT knives. This is a custom Sangrador. Um, so I actually filmed him making this knife, and then when he was done with it, he actually engraved my name on it. So it has my name oh, on it. Oh, that's neat. That's really and neat. And gave it to me. So that's Darren, really neat. you're a boss. And uh, this is one of my favorites in my collection just because it's like I spent the whole day with him. In fact, Darren was like, dang, dude, why does this take so long? Like this whole video thing. I was there eight hours. And he's like, this takes forever. And then when he saw it, he... Uh, he said, holy, holy expletive, that's amazing! <laughs> so, like, video just takes a long time. Good so work this, takes time. This was a cool one, and that was a cool one. That, those, that. Are, those are both really neat. And it's all part of, like, work. And that's the fun part about this category. Most of these knives have come from work. Like, this is Essie Azula was a Blade HQ. At the time, anytime we got an exclusive, they would give everyone in the company an exclusive. Oh, we need to bring that back. I know. <laughs> I, those were the good times. I miss those, those times. Those were the good days. Um, so that was one of the first ones I got at, at Blade HQ. Awesome. Uh, Sam from HEA gave me this sweet comb. Yeah, I've noticed you got two combs here. <laughs> I got two combs. <laughs> uh, Bob from Hud Hudson Design and Manufacturing gave me that one. So you just kind of like stuff comes to you. I feel like you need more like luscious locks. <laughs> Or maybe like a like a big old mountain man beard, you know? Yeah, carry absolutely. those around a little more. Dude, I wish I I wish I had <laughs> a use for them, but I I love them. They're like pieces of no, like yeah, that's stuff that I've been involved in. It's neat to be given that type of thing. Uh, another Blade HQ giveaway. We took all the knives from the studio and gave them away to the company, and this is the one I ended up with. <laughs> <laughs> little well, uh, carving knife. Almost Ben Blue. <laughs> almost. <laughs> it passes the finger test. It definitely. I mean, there you it go, definitely right? does. <laughs> I knew what you were looking for. <laughs> But this one's fun because it's like, I think this is a piece of Blade HQ culture. Like, yeah. in the sense that, yeah, we don't give knife exclusives to everybody now, but when we've got stuff laying around, like, give it to the employees, which I think is, is a fun little thing. Um, other projects, this was a, I filmed for a day sharpening videos with Tom Beff. This is a discontinued knife that he designed called the Muck, and he signed it for me, <laughs> which I love. Oh, that's neat. He did it with a little engraver. Yep. Cool. Yep. So he's super proud of this one, and uh, that one's a fun one to have in my collection. I don't know that I'd ever use it. It's for fish. And I'm, I'm not a fisherman. Yeah. But one day I was at dinner at CRKT and uh, with Jesper Voxnays and some other folks. And Jesper pulled this out of his pocket. It's a uh, fox knife. It's an Anso design. And I was like, dang, I like that. And he's like, it's yours. Whoa, like, that's awesome. It was super cool. So I've, I've kept this one because it's like... I'm also a little, little, little jealous. You know, I got a little bit of a man crush on Vox. I know, but this is an Anso. <laughs> that's true. That's so, true. I mean, it doesn't carry the same, right, same right, right. weight. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> um, other things in the collection, guys. This is where, like, my knife collection just... It's, it's weird. Um, so same sort of thing on this one. One day I saw this on Instagram. I texted Lucas Burnley. I'm like, dude, that thing's sick. And, like, two days later one shows up at CRKT. It's like, that's cool. Um, the first time I met Lucas Burnley, he handed me a Cypop. Oh, right on. Like, That's really neat. Yeah, yeah, super cool. And I don't know, It's to me it was like a really good relationship builder. Not that, like, not that I needed a Cypop, but like for Luke it was like, hey, thanks for being on the same team. Yeah. So that was super cool. And then my wife got me a Leatherman Blast once. So that's in the in the collection as well. This one's discontinued. I wanted a wave, she got me a blast. It's still, it's still, it's still a nice <laughs> it's a little one. Leatherman, though. Yeah, it's a good, good little one. Leatherman. So guys, let me know so far which ones are your favorite down in the comment section. We're gonna go to the Knives I Stole here right after the commercial break. Hey guys, I'm here to tell you about the new Gerber Empower. It's all USA made, S30V blade, aluminum handle. These things are pretty sweet. This one's a Blade HQ exclusive. So get on the website, check out the different models we have, and uh, happy hunting. All right guys, welcome back. And uh, Ben has been given so many <laughs> knives. We actually forgot to in the last little section. So Ben, 
final two the, the, of knives are, you were given. These are fun little knives. And you'll notice a lot of CRKTs in my collection. When you work at a place, stuff comes to you. Uh, this is the CRKT RMJ Kanji Hawk. Uh, it's sharpened up here, it's sharpened there, sharp, it's like sharpened everywhere. Yeah. And when you start at CRKT, they let you choose a, a tool. Okay. And I'm like, what tool will I never buy? <laughs> but I want. But I kind of want. <laughs> and it was this guy. So I keep awesome. it in my closet at home just because, you know, you just never know. Just keep it under the pillow, a little home defense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I should probably keep it in my car because it's actually, like, it does great work going through, like, car doors and stuff. Cool. So, like, extraction tool. But that's a fun little memory. Like, I, I probably sat on that for, like, three months. I'm like, which one should I get? That's awesome. You know what I'm seeing, though, here is the CRKT gave you something, Blade HQs to give away exclusives. I feel like we need to start a culture here at Blade HQ. I think I've given you a few things. You probably have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next one on the list was gifted to me uh, as a result of uh, eight stitches chopping my hand with this thing. So this is the Chance and Hell Machete from CRKT. And uh, this particular one, uh, if you look at my hand close, you can see that there's some two good cuts there. So I was on a video shoot with CRKT and weird things happened. I ended up being the talent, like the actor. And uh, we were filming in the rain. And what happened is the director was like, hey, I need you to chop faster. And like, we're off schedule, we were in a hurry. So I'm sitting there chopping with this thing. And I look down and I've got this big gaping hole in my glove. And I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> and I've pulled the glove off and I have like cut my hand. Just brand new machete. Flayed it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I'm like, oh crap. And I don't, I don't do well with personal injuries, so I'm like, I start to get all woozy, and they're yeah. like, yeah, four hours in the ER, and then uh, kept taking pictures. I was on the shoot to take pictures for CRKT, but uh, this one's memorable for that reason. That's that's a good memory. Yeah. How many chops do you think you got till you realized that your hand was like Honestly, half cut like off? you look at the footage, and I've watched this footage, like I can't even tell where I hit my hand. <laughs> and I'm lucky I didn't lose a finger, like literally. No, like, like honestly, like that's, that's like, the thing. I literally have no idea when I hit my hand. Or like, you know, like sever a nerve or a tendon. Oh yeah, yeah, so I, I barely severed the joint capsule. Like yeah. if I had gone deeper into the joint capsule, they said it would have been all sorts of major surgery. So it would have been a worker's comp, but even then, hmm, no thanks. You know, I, I'm glad that you got it though. I'm glad that you yeah. have that in the collection. You get a little yeah. shaky hole in it, do you feel it? Or no, not at all? No, no, not and I, I, I took it out. In fact, after, I, after that happened, there was like this little wooded area up in Oregon, and I took it back out and I'm like, you and I are gonna have some time Gotta together. get back on that horse. Yeah, man. <laughs> it was just kind of fun. It, it, one of the fun things about the CRKT stuff, all of the products that I, I have or took over there on that side, yeah. <laughs> um, I used them for pictures. So there's pictures of like all of these things on CRKT's account. Like I'll go on their Instagram and I'm like, took that, took that, like this was this adventure, that was that adventure. And so it's, there's like a lot of memories built into the individual tools, which is pretty fun. That's awesome. Next, so, uh, Speaking of taking, <laughs> We've got a whole slew of tooken. Yeah. So let's just let's just jump in. Okay, well, we'll jump in, but let me do some explaining first. Okay, in the I knives mean, you know, that I good, stole category, I think there's some explaining <laughs> necessary. So uh, I managed all of the social media, all of the stuff over at CRKT that was kind of front-facing. And so a lot of times what would happen is I'd pull a product off the shelf or I'd pull it out of warranty to go take pictures. My, my habit was to like find the good ones in warranty, right. snag them, take pictures with them. And they just never made it back. And so... Uh, this <laughs> it fell in the bottom of my camera bag, yeah. and I don't know what happened. <laughs> so this is one of those. This is a discontinued model from Doug Ritter. It's called the uh, RSK MK6. And so when I went to CRKT, I already had this Azula. Yeah. But when you work at a knife company, a certain knife company, you can't carry right. somebody else's knife. Like, you can't pull this out in front of people and be like, hey, or pull this out in front of people and say, I work at CRKT. Work at CRKT. Yeah, exactly. So this was kind of my camper knife. Mm -hmm. but when I moved to CRKT, I needed a new camper knife. Yeah. This became my camper knife. So this has been on tons of adventures with me. Tons of fun pictures with it too, which is which is entertaining. But that kind of replaced my Azula while I was while you were with CRKT. Them. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yep. This one, I love this knife. One of my very, very favorites. It's the Spyderco Dragonfly Salt 2. Uh, so here's how this one went. <laughs> so we've been on a couple of adventures, and I've seen this is always in your pocket. Yeah, I didn't know this was a stolen knife though. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> you made me an accessory, Ben. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I did. So the story on this one is I wanted this knife, and when you work at a knife company, you're like, yeah, I want a knife, but I'll just use it on a project, and then it'll be great. So yeah. I invented a project. I took this one on a trip to Lake Powell, and uh, used it, tested it, and then 
<laughs> Kept it. Boop. But the fun thing is, is it also made an appearance in our most recent Salt video. I feel yeah. like Blade HQ got their money's worth off of this particular knife. There You're you welcome, go. Blade HQ. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good way to justify stealing. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna just steal a couple of things. I love it. <laughs> uh, another warranty knife from CRKT. This one's called the Igniter. Uh, I don't know if this one's in printer anymore or not, but um, I de-assisted it, and I love it. I it's noticed that was actually what I was playing with a little bit before we started shooting, and I I actually asked Ben. I was like, "Is this assisted?" Because I yeah. I thought they were, and it even still feels it like loads yeah. up. It but does. it uh, yeah, it's cool. This one's a little longer than I like, but I love the G10 on it, yeah. and uh, it was a fun one to carry. I don't really carry it anymore. I, I prefer the access lock. Totally. So. Right on. <laughs> I feel like such a thief. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I'm handing to them one at a time, make you think about your crimes. I know. <laughs> this is a CRKT Hoot Nanny. It's a Ken Onion design. And I think this one came off one of our photo shoots um, with Ken Onion. And uh, so, fun little fun fact about this one and its uh, successor, the. I forget the name of this one. But uh, let me pull a little thing here. The Outrage is that one. So I think it was probably the same photo shoot. I actually took this picture for the cover. Oh, right on. Which is super fun. Yeah, that's way awesome. So this is the one we're going to give away, guys. And uh, we'll tell you how to win it at the end. So kind of fun little memory. Like, I think I had one of these for a minute. I gave it away. Somebody came to the house and ended up giving it away. But fun, just little memories of like life in the knife industry, you know? No, totally. This uh, one though, this one doesn't look like a knife industry knife to me. No, this one I, so my mom was cleaning out her garage and I found this one in the garage and I said, whose is this? She said, I don't know. I said, it's mine now. <laughs> so this one's kind of a, a half given, half stolen on this one. Yeah, it's yeah. an old Cub Scout knife. Definitely not my brother's. Um, now it's got some weird, what, what's up with these like half pennies going on? Yeah, here? so there's, story like, on that? there's like these liner locks in here that they've made. Um, so like the can opener has this little liner lock. Yeah. Which is totally stupid because they should have put it on the on the blade. You would yeah, right? But I think there's some rules and there's like a scout rule or in something. Cub Scouts, or at least you used can't to have be, a yeah. locking blade. So yeah, the can opener and the awl right here. Both lock. Both lock. Okay. But uh, if you want to cut your finger off, just use that guy. Use that one. Because yeah, it yeah. doesn't lock. So did you care did you actually use this in scouts? No. No. You used no. your uh, the other yeah, one. Yeah, the little Victorinox. Yeah, the Victorinox. Yep. Yep. So that's a fun little memory. Yeah, but I figure it was probably my dad's, maybe. Okay. I haven't yeah. asked him because maybe he'll want it. Back. Right. You don't want to. You don't want to give it back to him, right? <laughs> um, so this one, another CRKT warranty knife. I figure if I ever start hunting, this is a cool one. And I did this shoot with uh, Russ Comer, and he's the guy that designed this one. And so kind of a memory of like that shoot with him. Uh, we went out in the Texas woods, filmed a whole bunch of stuff for this game hoist. Uh, huh. CRKT was making this game hoist for a Interesting. while. Interesting. For like field dressing and stuff. Yeah, huh. I think it's discontinued now. Interesting. But did I got to go to Texas. It's just rad. Did it come with the sheath? Yeah. Oh, wow. Super classy knife. Yeah, that's way classy. And so if I take up hunting someday, boom. There's your knife. I'm set. Awesome. These two look like they're brother and sister. Yeah, so this one designed by Elmer Rausch, uh, called the Burler Axe. Um, I filmed with him, and this was a prop we used on a, on a shoot, and I was like, I can has that. <laughs> and so I took that one. So I took that one. This one, this one looks a little bit like the Frere that they've released. Just yeah. kind of just the bigger beard and yep. everything, you know. Yep. Same same designer, same same sort of flow. But right I, I threw a few accessories. In fact, the handle on this is a really gross color. So I just sanded it down, put a walnut stain, threw a lanyard on it. That looks good. Hang it in the garage. Right same on. sort of thing with this guy. I took this one on a backpacking trip. Uh, this is the Chogun by RMJ Tactical from CRKT. Uh, anyway. From the little, just a little hawk. I use it to uh, hit the aspen roots in my yard. Oh, okay. When they start popping them up. Perfect. 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 Dig a little yeah. bit with and kill them. Yeah. <laughs> and then last on the list here. Now this is this is all your gentlemen's knives. Yeah. Isn't these it? These are all, all your, my gentlemen's yeah, knives. Yeah, for your suits. Yeah. Classy occasions. All of them together. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so when I started at CRKT, I had this fascination with the M16 series. Yeah. And I'm like, in fact, you want to show the good people this thing? Yeah, let's do it. Pulling out some relics here. The, uh, so when I got there, I actually laid out all the M16s I could find from the building and put them on the table to try to understand this line. So the M16 line makes up a huge part of Sierra Kitty's revenue relative to um, their other knives in their line. So I'm like, I want to learn about it. And so as these would come through warranty and get, get discarded, I just yank them. <laughs> 
because I wanted to understand like <laughs> sizing, all of those things. Right, right. Uh, I think at one time there were like seventy different models in the M sixteen series. Oh, like active at one time. Yeah. Wow. Like yeah. serrated, partially serrated, like all of these different models, and I like tried to wrap my head around it, and finally I gave up and just uh, took a few of these. Took a few. Me. You're like, I'm just gonna take it with me. Yeah. yeah. And what? Any special stories here? Literally no. No. <laughs> just just have them. Yeah, I mean, and if you guys don't know why this is gen, this is this is Ben's gentleman knife. Check out our gentleman's video. Yeah, you'll understand. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and then Matthew's left us a little. Oh, note. hey, that's not yours. Okay, no, this is that's not mine. Ma that's from Matthew. You want to read it? Yeah, let's do it. This is a, I think this is a viewer comment. I don't know. I like these hidden it, things. It is a viewer comment. Okay, uh, it was Jacob Summer. I'd like to see a, a video where Zach is set on fire. <laughs> that is all. Oh, thanks, Matthew. Love Glad you. we can Love end you, buddy. <laughs> Glad we can end this video there. <laughs> well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I think he was gonna do something fun and post on that. Oh, one. okay. Maybe I'll maybe I'll be on flames right now. I, I hope it's like a flaming chariot. <laughs> no, that'd be, like amazing. Your face, like, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. Sweet. So there you have it, guys. We asked you if you wanted to see it. You said yes, and here is the collection. And we got a giveaway though. Oh yeah. So here's the plan. I like to give knives away. And this one's part of my collection. It can be part of your collection. Go ahead and let's say, uh, ask a relevant question down in the comments about the collection. I'll try to answer it, but that will be your entry to win the Hoot Nanny. You must be 18 and over, USA only, all that jazzy jazz. So you give away a lot of knives. You've given this knife away. Yeah. I feel like you need a knife to replace it. Yeah? yeah. Oh boy. Uh oh. I didn't know this was coming. What have you done? <laughs> I made you a thing, Ben. What? What? <laughs> Okay, I gotta show this off though. I gotta show the good people did what we're doing. Know that, Jamie, did Jamie know this? Was oh, coming? Jamie knows. Everybody oh, knows you, what's happening. You little rebels. Okay. Dang. So this is this is yet released. So this is you guys Dang. are getting this first. This is. <laughs> we have two hundred thousand subscribers. We've got this is our fiftieth knife banner. We made Ben a custom knife. Rit die G10. We love all of you guys. We love Ben. Here you go. Oh, best part. Wait, what, what is what is up, guys? Yes. Right there. Right there on the blade. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. You're great. We'll keep coming to you with more stuff. <laughs> I am stoked, man. <laughs> Look at this thing. With a winch clip and everything. everything. Holy smokes. Did what we could. What is up, guys? Oh, man. <laughs> the sparklers? This is amazing. <laughs> 50 episodes, 200,000 subscribers, yep. and a pair of three. Doesn't get any it better. It died. Yep. Blade HQ Ben Blade. Handmade. Handmade. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I feel like this place nope, is good. Nope, okay. it was good. It was good. <laughs> the viewer wanted to see Zach on fire. I feel like we. Yeah, we've it. almost done it. We've almost done it. <laughs> That's Perfect. Awesome. 